Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikki Muscle from MitigateStress.com. That's my new tag handle, so get used to it. I'm a recovery specialist. In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite upper body warm-up of all time. It's a warm-up, but if you add weights to this, this actually becomes an incredible athletic exercise that carries over into every bit of athletic performance, whether you're sprinting, running, walking, or martial arts, or baseball, football, it doesn't really matter. This is an incredible exercise that you're going to love. And this is an exercise that I have to actually pay credit to, to functional patterns, but also an amazing sprint coach that I used to work with who was Patrick Cochran. He is awesome and he showed me some different variations of this and I just added some different dynamic touches, which I'm gonna show you in this video. So stay tuned, I got egg weights right here. You don't have to have these, but these are basically three pounds each. You can also use dumbbells, five pounds, 10, 15, it gets a little bit heavy. Uh, let's just start with body weight, and if you are new, definitely one to three pounds max to start with. So, I'm going to show you the exercise first, some different variations, and then obviously stay till the end to go through all the different modes, levels, and techniques. Um, it's going to hopefully be a shorter video. I don't want this to be too long, but let's get started. Before we get started, we're going to start with the standing posture drill, but like I said, I'm going to show you real quick what we're actually doing, and that is basically, let me show you the neutral version, and it's this. So what is happening there? My hips, feet, and knees are straight, and I'm rotating my, my thoracic spine. I am actually stretching the rear delts, the tricep, and the upper back like crazy, the shoulder blades, as I come around. I'm reaching as far as I can and stretching that backside, and then when I come this way, I'm really opening up the pecs and doing that. So that's that exercise I'm talking about. It's an amazing warm-up, but let's get started first with the standing posture drill that I want you guys to start with. I'm gonna explain why. So this is a ball, a squishy ball, that you're gonna use as a feedback mechanism between your legs to simulate adductor engagement, turning on your groin, basically. And you wanna use the tiles on the ground to find some markers to keep it as even as you can with your feet, knees, and hips. You want your feet, knees, and hips to be completely hip width apart not too narrow, not too wide, and you want your feet, knees, and hips to be facing in a straight line right in front of you. You're going to want to follow your hips as you twist. You want to completely avoid that as much as you can. That's why I'm using this ball to engage my adductors to keep me more stable and pointed forward the entire time as I counter-rotate the upper body, right? So real quick, the standing posture drill, you can do this for one to five minutes. You're gonna stand as tall as you possibly can, keep your collarbone level, keep your pelvis level, keep your jaw level, and as tall as you, you can. Everything in between the collarbone and the pelvis, you wanna think about creating as much space as you can in that abdominal cavity. Why? Because one, we want room to breathe, but two, there's a lot of rotation happening at the midsection, therefore you don't want any shearing forces to occur. You want to avoid that. You want to create space so you can allow adequate rotation to occur, right? So shoulders are going to be up and out and then slightly back. A lot of people always say, roll them back and down. That's one of the worst things you can possibly do. It's going to create more tension. It's going to dehydrate and inflame your scapula and pinch your shoulders, create a bunch of knots. You don't want to do that. So go up and out, all right? Think of the lats like a V tape. They got to go up and out and then slightly back if you want. Neck is neutral, collarbones neutral, pelvis is neutral, and just to recap, the hips, knees, and feet are facing a straight line. I'm gently squeezing this ball in. You can use a couple pillows if you want, but this ball seems to work the best. We're gonna do this for, again, one to five minutes. Just do a couple breaths as slow as you can. Think about expanding the ribs 360 in all angles, like a fish with gills. You're breathing in the ribs and trying to create a nice big expansion everywhere. We're not breathing as much into the neck, we're breathing into the ribs, the lungs, right? All right, so again, pause the video, do that for a couple reps. I'm going to show you the body weight version of this. So now that we understand this, I'm showing you this because it's directly leading us into the first exercise, which is the same thing. Now all we're doing is reaching one arm forward like this. And now when I'm doing this, I'm reaching forward, I'm stretching the arm, the triceps, the rear delts, the lats, as well as the scapula, right? 
But what I don't want to do is I don't want to tense or shorten anything up, technically speaking. As in, I don't want to just go directly across and shorten up my pec. That's going to jam up. That's going to create more pinching. We don't want that. So reach out and then go around. This arm's kind of like right here. And then when I come back, let me just reach out again. I'm internally rotating. And then when I come back, I'm externally rotating. And I'm getting a split second massive pec stretch. And that's going to prime that other arm to go this way. While the entire time, my hips, my feet, my knees are still pointed in a straight line, I'm still squeezing in. So watch this in real time. Boom, boom, boom. See that pec stretch right here, right here? But at the same time, when my arm's going across, or rather forward and around like a big hug, that's stretching the backside, my lats, right? And then we're rotating. I'm trying to resist my hips rotating with me as much as I can. And I'm trying to keep it as tall as I can. You can go, you kind of see I'm kind of going like this a little bit. You can go straight across, but I kind of like to do a little bit of a slight diagonal. Ugh. Honestly, I have weights here, but you don't even really need weights yet. All right, so that's the first exercise after we do the standing posture drill corrective before that. Now we're gonna add some weights. I just have some three pound egg weights here, three pound egg weights, can't speak tonight because it's blue light. That's why I got these glasses on to reduce as much stress as I can. So punch out, get to work, <laughs> boom. And again, I'm internally rotating. It's gonna stretch that lat. And as I'm rotating, I'm not doing that with my hips. I'm not collapsing, I'm not following it. It's gonna be a little bit of a stretch. I'm also not cramming and crunching. I'm tall. Create space in that abdominal cavity. Breathe, get as tall as you possibly can, guys. Actually, every single rep, you should focus on getting taller and taller and taller. That's the secret. <sighs> open the pecs, open the pecs. All right. Now let's take the ball out. We're going to do a single alternating stance variation. Same concept, but now we're going to add some different types of ground tension you're going to see here. So we were more neutral stance. Now we're going to go more into a, I guess, unilateral stance. Yeah, unilateral. I think. I don't know. I, I don't got my jargon down tonight. Anyways, it's going to be the same concept, hip width apart, but now we're going to use our lines on the ground and we're going to go slightly staggered, right? So if I'm rotating this way, my right leg should be in front of me. If I'm rotating, rotating to the right, I should be rotating to my right leg. As I switch, if I'm rotating to the left, left leg's in front, right leg's in front, left leg's in front. Always rotate towards your lead leg. I just like to alternate my legs like that. And now I'm gonna show you a little bit more advanced cue. As you're doing this, just like the last exercise, you wanna have some type of ground tension. What does that mean? I'm squeezing the ground, I'm engaging the ground. That's kind of like the secret to optimal athletic performance. And so before we were squeezing in, now I want you to squeeze this way, right? More linear, more straight. So my, if my red leg is in front, I'm pretending I'm pulling back this way. If my left leg's behind me, I'm pretending I'm pulling it this way. That's gonna keep you more stable. So pinch, pinch, and it can just be a quick pinch. You might be very weak. And by the way, I should have a disclaimer, and that is this is kind of somewhat of an advanced workout or warm up. Um, but everyone can do it. Again, just start with body weight first. The main thing I want to recap on is as I'm punching out, my pec is stretching as well as my lat. Yes, my lat is mainly stretching as I internally rotate and go across, but surprisingly, my pec is also stretching as well. What I want to avoid is punch out and then just go straight across, right? See that? I'm going to take my shirt off for science and right, be a little goofy because we know Nick likes taking his shirt off all the time. Anyways, so watch this. 
What I don't want to do is have my shoulder back like this and go across. And that's, see, that's kind of cramming. You see the creases there? I want to pull the slack out of the skin, out of the fascia. So punch out, boom, and then go around. I'm really using my shoulder blade to go forward. So now we can kind of play with this. We can actually walk now. This is the full exercise. Really think about stretch my life. I'm going to show you a side view now. Tall as you possibly can. If you had to during your break of this warm up it, or exercise, honestly, go back to your standing neutral posture stance. You can put the ball in between, engage the adductors. Get tall, get tall, get tall. And now let's go again. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah. All right guys, that's it. That's my favorite upper body and honestly total body warm up of all time. One more recap. Feet, knees, hips, always pointing straight ahead. Whereas the torso is tall and rotating separate of the hips. When I teach people a lot, I, the first thing I see Ron is they always follow with their hips. Next, we're creating space up and out with our shoulders. We're really reaching and we're feeling that lat and that pec at the same time stretch. And every rep, we're getting taller. Taller, taller, taller. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions, you know where to find us. Uh, support at mitigatetrust.com. Or you just ask us any questions down below. We always try to respond. We don't have that many following in comments anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you next video. Peace.